Next let us consider whether Jesus Christ was crucified or not. Christians believe that Jesus Christ was crucified and was raised on the third day. But the glorious Quran says in chapter 4 verses 157 and 158. وَقَوْلِهِمْ إِنَّا قَتَلْنَا الْمَسِيحِ إِيسَ بِنُ مَرْيَمَ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ وَلَكِنْ شُبِّهَ لَهُمْ وَإِنَّ الَّذِينَ اخْتَلَفُوا فِيهِ لَفِي شَكٍ مِنْ مَا لَهُمْ بِهِ مِنْ إِلْمٍ إِلَّا اتِّبَاءَ الظَّنْ وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ يَكِينًا بَرَّفَهُ اللَّهُ إِلَيْهِ Quran says that they, the Jews says that Jesus was crucified. He was neither killed nor was crucified. But it was so made to appear to them. And those who differ therein are full of doubts. And they do not have any knowledge except they follow conjecture. And as a surety, they killed him not. Allah raised him to heaven. So the Quran clearly says that whoever says that Jesus was crucified are indeed in full of doubts. And Christians need to recognize that only if there are verses in the Bible that confirms that. The fact that neither the gospel writers or nor the disciples of Jesus were direct eyewitness to the alleged crucifixion is a fact. Because when Jesus Christ was captured by the Jews and the Romans, the disciples of Jesus panicked and fled. The disciples of Jesus who should have done whatever possible to save Jesus left that place, abandoned him. Gospel of Matthew chapter 26 verse 56 and Gospel of Mark chapter 14 verse 50 says, they all forsook him and fled. This brings to light that neither Matthew nor John were direct eyewitness to the alleged crucifixion as they wrote about. Neither Mark and Luke claimed that they had seen this. So they had relied on unconfirmed reports and hearsay. Merely a superficial analysis of the narrations about crucifixions in the Gospels would reveal the blatant inconsistencies in the descriptions made by the Gospel writers. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 27, verse 46, and Gospel of Mark, chapter 15, verse 34 states, the last words uttered by Jesus as, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? But Luke gives an entirely different version in chapter 23 verse 46 and quotes the last words uttered by Jesus as Father, I commit my spirit to you. And John in his gospel chapter 19 verse 30 says the last words uttered by Jesus as it is finished and he gave up the ghost. So if all the gospel writers were inspired by the same Holy Spirit, then how can these blatant errors be found in the Gospels? That is why the Quran says that those who claim that Jesus was crucified are confused and they do not have any knowledge. And these discrepancies continue while the Gospel writers narrate the incidents that happened immediately after the alleged death of Jesus Christ. Matthew in his gospel, chapter 27, verses 51 to 54 says, Behold, the veil of the temple was split from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks broke. And graves were opened and many bodies of saints which slept arose. Even though Mark in his gospel says about the splitting of the temple curtain, does not utter a word about the shaking of the earth, or dead persons coming out of their graves. Luke in his gospel says that the splitting of the temple curtain happened before the death of Jesus. Whereas Matthew says it happened after the death of Jesus. And Luke also does not mention anything about the trembling of the earth. The dead persons coming out of their tombs etc. And John does not mention anything about splitting of the temple curtain, the shaking of the earth, and dead persons coming out of their graves. If all the gospel writers were inspired by the same Holy Spirit, then how could these blatant errors be found in the Bible? That is why the Quran says that those who claim 
that Jesus was crucified are indeed confused and they do not have any knowledge about it. And these discrepancies continue while the gospel writers narrate the incidents that happened on Sunday early morning. Matthew says in his gospel, chapter 28, verses 1 to 7, Mary Magdalene and Mary, other Mary, when entered, there was a violent earthquake. For an angel came down from heaven, went to the grave, and rolled back the stone and sat on it. Whereas Mark in his gospel, chapter 16, verses 1 to 6 says, When Mary Magdalene, Salome, and Mary the mother of James entered, they saw that the stone, which was a very large one, had been rolled away. And as they entered, they saw a young man dressed in white robes, sitting on the right side. And whereas Luke in his gospel, chapter 24, verses 1 to 5 says, when women entered, the stone was already rolled away. And as the women entered, they did not find the body of Lord Jesus. And as they were wondering, they saw two men in clothes that were gleaming like lightning standing beside them. And John in his gospel, chapter 20, verses 1 to 4 says, When Mary Magdalene entered, she saw that the stone had been removed. And she went running to Simon Peter and came with them. Then only she sees an angel. Did you notice the serious discrepancies here? When Matthew says two women, Mark says three women, John says one woman, and Luke does not mention exact number. When Matthew says when women entered, there was a violent earthquake, the other gospel writers does not utter a word about it. When Matthew says, when women entered, in front of them the angel came down. The other gospel writers say, but when they entered, the stone was already rolled away. When Matthew says about one angel, Mark says about young man, Luke says about two young men, and John says about an angel only after Mary returns. That is why the Quran says, those who say that Jesus was crucified are indeed confused and they do not have any knowledge about it and in gospel of Matthew chapter 12 40 and 41 Jesus Christ promised people a great miracle Jesus Christ says as Jonah was in the fish belly for three days and three nights so shall the son of man be in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights as you know that Jonah was alive in the belly of the fish. There is no disagreement between Muslims and Christians regarding this aspect. So if the miracle promised by Jesus should be similar to Jonah, Jesus ought to have been alive in the tomb. But gospel writers say Jesus was dead. Jesus Christ said that he will be in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. But all gospel writers say Jesus was in the heart of the earth for only two nights and one day. That is Friday and Saturday nights and daytime of Saturday. So I kindly request my dear Christian brothers to accept what is stated in the Quran and confirmed by the Bible that Jesus Christ is neither crucified nor killed but was raised by Almighty God towards him.